Crabtech Smart Plug ay isang uri ng smart home device na nagpapahintulot sa iyo na kontrolin ang iyong mga appliance gamit ang iyong smartphone o iba pang mga voice assistant tulad ng Amazon Alexa or Google Assistant sa pamamagitan ng pag-connect ng Crabtech Smart Plug sa iyong electrical outlet at pag-connect nito sa iyong Wi-Fi network, maaari mong kontrolin ang iyong napiling appliance kahit saan ka man at anumang oras. Ang Crabtech Smart Plug ay mayroong mabilis na pag install at madali itong gamitin. Maaari kang mag-set up ng timer at schedule para sa iyong mga appliance or gadgets o gumamit ng voice commands upang kontrolin ang mga ito. Bukod dito, nagbibigay din ito ng energy monitoring upang masiguro na hindi ka naglalagay ng sobrang pabigat sa iyong kuryente. Ang Crabtech Smart Plug ay isang magandang investment para sa iyong smart home system at magbibigay din ito ng mas malaking control sa iyong mga gadget. So, meron tayong in-order na Crabtech Smart Plug. Kung nakikita nyo sa screen ay ito ay nakalagay lang sa maliit na kahod. It works with Amazon Alexa and Google. So, meron siyang rated current na 10 amps. Yan. So, ina-unbox na natin kung anong laman. So, merong user manual. Yan. Binasa muna natin bago natin ikabit sa outlet. Yan. So, very basic siya. May app na i-install sa iyong cellphone. Yan. So, madali lang naman. So, inspecting the actual unit. So, meron siyang ground pin aside from yung normal na plug. So, meron siyang ground. Ayan. So, heavy yung item na to. Parang quality naman siya. Tsaka kulay white lang yung available nila. <laughs> Yan, in this video, nakikita natin na kinabit ko na siya sa wall outlet and nakakonekta rin ito sa aking smartphone. So, basic instruction lang kung paano siya ikabit. Then, I use it to monitor the appliance and gadgets on my Fanter outlet. So, yan, nakikita nyo. It's a computer, monitor, and uh, electric fan and charger. For the purpose of this video, uh, I am trying to measure kung ilan ba yung power consumption ng aking mga gadgets at appliance na nakakonek sa aking Panther outlet. Important kasi sa akin na magka-idea kung gano'n ba kalaki ang power consumption nitong mga gamit na ito na aking binabayaran sa aking electric bill. Para alam ko rin kung ano yung mga dapat kong i-turn off para makatipid sa power. So, let's start with uh, my computer specs or specification. So, I use Intel 12 Gen i3 12100F. And then I have a 16 gigabyte of RAM or memory. It runs on a B660M gaming AC motherboard. It has two SSD na PCIe, so 500 gigabytes each. Meron din siyang video card. So that's AMD Radeon RX 6500XT. Then one mouse, one keyboard, one headset. And uh, operating system is Windows 11. Next one are the appliance. So I have uh, used 
an electric fan on on this outlet so that's 65 watts of uh, power and then for my charger for cell phone that's 15 watts and for the speaker i have this z313 logitech uh, 25 watts and lastly the monitor itself so it's a viewsonic VX2458C MHD 24 inches and that's 32 watts let's talk about identifying kung ano yung power consumption ng computer uh, desktop so since specs lang itong nandito at walang actual na reading so I have recorded uh, a video here na itong desktop lang ang naka-turn on. So upon checking here on this actual uh, usage in in the app. So pinapakita ni Crabtech na the total power for the desktop computer and monitor is running around uh, 99 watts. So, hindi siya perfect na 99. Sometimes it goes down to 98.1. As we can see here on the video, 97.5 watts. I think this will change depending on the load of task on the computer. If you are, say, uh, encoding a video using Adobe, so probably it will consume more but let's stick with the 99 watts and finally uh, we will check kung ilan na ba yung power consumption na na monitor ni Crabtech smart plug so let's select 7 days from the time na ginamit ko ito and as you can see on the screen so in June 5 2023 2023, ang power consumption is 1.37 kilowatts. On the next day, June 6, 2023, 1.15 kilowatts. On June 7, that's 0 0.9 kilowatts. The next day after that is June 8. 1.01 kilowatts on the fifth day 1.34 kilowatts and then on june 10 we have a reading of 0 0.67 kilowatts and for the seventh day june 11 2023 we have 0.63 kilowatts so let's add these figures and we will have the following uh, kilowatt reading for 7 days. So please bear with me. Let's add them 1.15 plus 1.9 plus 1.01 plus 1.34 plus 0.67 plus 0.63. So we're seeing 7.07 .07 kilowatts for 7 days. And if we say multiply this by 4 weeks to get 1 month, so times 4 weeks. 7.07 .07 times 4, we have around 28.28 .28 kilowatts for a month. Yeah, and so essentially, uh, ito yung aking consumption using uh, the electric fan, the computer set, and the monitor included, and also charging my cell phone. So it's uh, around 28. 0.3 watts per month. If we will estimate kung magkano ba ito in terms of pesos, 
So, para magka-idea tayo, ay i-multiply natin sa, uh, let's say, 13 pesos per kilowatt. So, 28.28 .28 kilowatts times 13 pesos. We have here 367 pesos and 64 cents. Hindi kasama dito yung tax and other fees siguro in computing the bill. Pero ito yung ating basic estimate. Mga 367 pesos and some cents. Yan. Good thing is that itong 367 pesos na to is free. I do not pay for this energy because I use solar power. Although there are uh, initial costs in setting it up, but it's eco-friendly running my computer anytime as long as uh, I have my battery charged and as long as there's energy from sun. So it's, it's uh, actually a good thing that I have this it's an eco-friendly solution. But yet, we have an idea here that I saved 367 pesos uh, in a month running my computer set and some electric fan. So, on our next future video, we will feature kung paano ba makagawa ng ganitong free electric supply. So, samahan niyo ako sa susunod na video regarding solar energy. I hope you find this video informative. Please subscribe and like this video. Have a great day. Bye.